so you can get a lot of and i forgot to tell you one very important thing every year you will notice congo every alternate year or once in two years or three years some news about congo congo is not only important in the current affairs because there's a lot of conflict going on in that region it's strategically also very important so it is a place where you know a lot of tribes civil war conflict and if you want to uh, control african politics congo is very important so there are a list of facts that you have to remember about congo we will be discussing that in a separate class in mapping based thing but just remember congo shares its boundaries with certain other countries congo is very important and in this context these two lakes are very important lake kivu and lake edward okay lake kivu is in the boundary it's sharing its uh, you know it's it is in the basins of these two the basin is in two different countries congo and rwanda please note this point even lake edward uganda and congo all of this can be important please pay attention lake victoria lake kibu and lake edward okay in the same report in south america there is another lake that is mentioned lake titicaca i already gave this uh, lake titicaca in the document on mapping this is not the first time that is appearing even in the previous years it appeared in the news of course it was not asked in upsc yet so what is the point that you need to focus it is between two countries which two countries peru and bolivia this is also not the most important point the fascinating point about this entire thing is that it is the highest navigable highest navigable lake in the entire world what are the mountains in south america and this can be asked and why is it in news because it is shrinking because of climate change historic low the world's highest navigable lake in south america it's called lake titicaca between bolivia and peru it's facing some crisis why climate change what are the mountains that you can find in that region and this what are we talking about basically we are talking about a report prepared by iucn about the western ghats and the fresh water fauna and the threats they are facing in the same report across the globe iucn also mentioned about two other places lake victoria in africa and lake titicaca in south america there is an important civilization called inca civilization this is the place where that civilization was born remember great civilizations are always born near water bodies indus valley civilization is a case to the point okay so these are the things that you need to know and the third place that this report mentioned was about sri lanka's wet zone so if you see the map of sri lanka here this place the southwest part is almost similar to the western ghats so when unesco is looking at the man and biosphere program in 1972 this is one of the global biodiversity hotspot also along with western ghats this wet zone of uh, sri lanka there is a lot of uh, you know continuity in terms of the kind of weather you will see so all of that for our conservation purposes is considered like a hotspot there is a lot of similarities in the flora and fauna and the kind of uh, conditions that you would see in western ghats as well as this wet zone one more thing that that's the point you need to know